Let's go up for the ring introductions to Chuck Hull. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Superstar Theater of the Riviera Hotel, where today's Don King Productions, in association with Ash Resnick, presents World Championship Boxing. These bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Sig Rogich Chairman, Harold Buck Executive Director, with commissioners at ringside, Dwayne Ford, Art Lurie, and Sammy Macias. The officials assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next bout of the day, the judges are Senor Dimas Hernandez Sanchez, Mike Jacobs, and Sid Nathan. The timekeeper is Mike Lachella, counting at the knockdowns, Mike Marabito, the attending physicians at ringside, Drs. Donald Romeo and James A. Game, and your referee is Richard Steele. This is the main event of the afternoon. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the red corner, the challenger, rated number one by the World Boxing Council, a former junior lightweight champion with a professional record of 21 wins, 2 defeats, and 14 KOs, weighing in a 130 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the very popular Roger Black Mamba Mayweather. And in the blue corner, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World. His professional record consists of 44 wins, no defeats with 38 KOs. He weighed in at 129 and three-quarter pounds. He fights out of Culiacan, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. Richard Steele, the referee, brings the fighters to okay. the middle of the ring. Okay. Both fighters, they instructed in the dress room. I would like the corners to remind them, obey my commands at all times. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Okay. Well, Roger Mayweather disdained the uh, traditional handshake. Chavez gave him a little smile back in return. As we see the tail of the tape, the reach advantage, the highlight of that, Roger Mayweather, 75 and a quarter. He stands at 5'7". Chavez... Just under 5'7 in height for the 68-inch reach. It has not bothered him in past fights, but he hasn't been in there against anybody quite as tall and with a reach like Roger Mayweather. Mayweather, perhaps the tougher opponent in his career, although he has had fewer fights. 21-2 and two with 14 knockouts. Chavez turning pro at 17 after a short amateur career in Mexico. Unbeaten in 44 bouts, 38 knockouts. He won the fight against Mario Martinez when Hector Camacho uh, moved up in weight, and that gave him the WBC Super Featherweight crown at 130 pounds. He has defended once against Ruben Castillo. This is his first American Network appearance, and most boxing fans, particularly those in the Southwest and California area who have followed Chavez, are excited about uh, seeing him get, finally, a national forum in the U.S. It's him. Roger Mayweather has no weight in his legs at all. It's all on top. He looks just about twice as big as Chavez. And he's snapping that jab out, Tim. If he keeps that up, it's going to be a tough, long night for, for Chavez. Well, the left jab of Roger Mayweather is the, the key punch to keep Chavez in a similar ring like he's doing now. Work that left jab and try to get that right hand in. One thing about it, Chavez has a good chin, so they may change things around. Mexican boxing experts have already compared this 22-year-old champion to the likes of Ruben Oliveira, Salvador Sanchez, Carlos Zarate. I asked him about that yesterday, but that put additional pressure on you. He just smiled and said, no, I fight for myself. I want to build my own reputation. There's a solid right by the challenger, Mayweather. And that is a lethal right hand, Tim, if it lands. Mayweather can punch. Chavez born in Ciudad Ubragan, now living in Culiacan, Mexico, where he is obviously quite a hero already. And he won this world championship against another tough Mexican fighter, Mario Martinez. Under a minute to go in round one, scheduled for 12 under the WBC rules, 12 round championship distance. Chavez keeps his hands up very high. In fact, you can probably see Mayweather throwing that jet to the body, working down and up. Solid right hand counter by Mayweather. Another one just missed. Chavez just stalking forward. That's his style. It could be a mistake, Tim, because he's not getting any feints. He's walking straight in, Chavez. So he could go into something. Mayweather setting the punch now. Oh, holy. Under the 30 second mark, we go in this first round. Punch it out. Chavez is good with inside fighting. Those short uppercuts. Very effective. Work the body. And those 
those body shots. Slow his opponent down. Talking to Mayweather this week, a very determined young man saying that he is ready mentally and physically as we're in the final seconds of round one. His concentration is very good this first Don't round. Hold it, Don't hold it. The champions presented by Old Spice Anti First Sprint and New Improved Stick Deodorant. When I'm in the ring, I want to win. I don't possess maybe one of the greatest puncher, uh, but I'm there for 15 rounds, 10 rounds to fight every second of it. I fight for the public. I like to, I'm an entertainer. When I go in there, I like to entertain, I like to, everybody's gonna say Vito is a good fighter. New rules. Round number two of a scheduled 12-round WBC Super Featherweight Championship out the champion in green is Julio Cesar Chavez, who has quickly garnered a reputation as one of the exciting young boxers on the scene and already holds a world title. The challenger is the former WBA champion Roger Mayweather. He scored a good combination. That rocked the champion Chavez. What's bothering Chavez is the consistency of the left jab of Roger Mayweather. First round, very control round for Mayweather. He kept moving, kept working the jab. Chavez. Mayweather's making some beautiful moves through sliding over to his right, just taking just taking Chavez punching power away from him. Chavez starting to reach in with his chin. No holding. Scoring on the 10 point must system, done by three judges, two from Great Britain, Mike Jacobs and Sid Nathan, along with Dimas Hernandez Sanchez and Caracas Venezuela. Punching by Chavez. He's coming over Mayweather's jab with the right hand. Oh, that breaks. That when back. he does that, Ray, leaves himself wide open. I don't think he should be reaching with that right hand. So much behind it, Gil. Another big right hand by the challenger, Mayweather. And what set that up? Mayweather slipped to his right. He just was right. Yes, he is. Mayweather took two consecutive right hands from the champion Chavez just after he landed a big one of his own. Mayweather has the move now. He's still on It was his judgment to stop the fight. And Mayweather on very wobbly legs, just trying to stand up at that point. I, I don't think I would quarrel with Steele. It sounds like you're questioning that decision, Gil. Well, it was near the end of the round, Sam, and again, it's a championship fight. Ray, what do you think? I think Steele did the right thing because uh, Mayweather was hurt. And he's being hit by those bombs of Chavez. There is the happy champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. He will be 23 years of age next week on the 12th of July. A very handsome, attractive young man, very intelligent, a high school graduate. Now let's go back and see. This one was not ruled a knockdown, but let's watch what happened again. Looks like he's already tagged him once, though. Well, he was off balance, Chef. He, he jumped it with the right hand. He was in the air, as a matter of fact. But the power of his punching, his punching ability is incredible. That was a right hand that sent Mayweather down. Again, we emphasize that was not ruled a knockdown by Richard Steele. He then went down twice more after 